I know I got a, um, yeah, Resurrection Day, you know, I got to talk about some things that they are, you know, concerned about my mom, um, I really am, and, you know, I don't even care what anybody has to say back at me, or, you know, whatever, whatever people are going to say, I don't care, uh, I know, like, what I have to say right now needs to be said, and, you know, it's just what it is, um, and again, you know, let me tell you this too, a little, a little bit of it is kind of sad, because the movie came out before Resurrection Sunday, and it should have actually came out tonight, because it wouldn't have taken the focus off Christ, we could have really went in order, and said, uh, how you doing cousin, Verlinda Moss, um, you see they, Shouted out Uncle Bill. I was hoping they would have given him a little more in the movie uh, addressing Uncle Bill, but uh, you know they they did. But anyway, I was I, I really wanted um I was it would have been nice if we couldn't have taken the t- the um focus off of Christ um f- and had because y'all know this this weekend was built like straight up on. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try not to get emotional because I'm, I'm telling you, I, I'm I'm really kind of like, you know, feeling for my mom, and that doesn't just because I'm feeling for my mom doesn't mean that we didn't have differences. We had differences, but that's still like a person, you know what I'm saying? Just like um, my uncle John, you know, I don't even call him uncle, but we we we've had differences, but I still feel like, man, you know. The way he was kind of like put out there like that, you know, y- y'all be surprised what people were inboxing me about him, about John Terrell. Y'all be surprised. People was on some ruthless stuff, and I'm like, you know, I get it. It's entertainment for us and everything, but it's like, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? That's like um, much. So I'm gonna give y'all like, and I'm telling you, I'm not wasting time. I'm, I'm about to give y'all a couple things. That y'all can't refute about how my mom was played in the movie. And, you know, if we just being fair, we just being fair. If we not, you know, then that's, then y'all, this whole live would be a waste for y'all to watch. But, um, you know, it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's just not right. And, uh. The sad part is uh, I've been hitting my mom up around the clock and it's going straight to voicemail and I'm just concerned about her because, you know, the whole the whole world now uh, look at you in a light um, that was painted and it's kind of not fair. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you all one or two that you're going to see that it's just not fair. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going y'all gonna to have to admit it's not fair. Uh, one of the ones is, y'all notice how each Clark sister, uh, all of them, was granted the uh, space that y'all would know when they got proposed to or when they got married. Each Clark sister, each one had that. Um, and when, when the, the funeral scene came up and she went up there and uh, that whole ordeal happened, uh, which really was like I Karen and Uncle Leo. Those are the really the ones that went up there and got her when she was um, venting. Cause it was it was emotional, you know what I'm saying. The part that gets me is a couple statements that was made. Like for example, when she stood up there, she was like, "Me and my seven boys." What? Now, yes, if people are asking me, "Were there seven brothers?" Yes, I'm one of seven. But the thing is, it looks like 
that all of those was out of marriage, out of wedlock, all seven. And my thing is this, okay, if you're going, if you, if you're going to tell a story and make sure four to five are taken care of that y'all clearly know, um, Uncle Greg was in the choir. He came and approached and 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 um, sought to marry Aunt Dorinda, Uncle Drew, Uncle Glenn, and John Terrell. His name is John Morrison, and even the fact y'all don't even know that, you know, we we know now my 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 mom's name is Denise Clark Bradford, but when this stuff was going down, it was. Denise Clark Morrison. And again, like, it, 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 for me to get on, look, I'm telling y'all, why am I going live? Why am I talking about it? Who else is going to tell y'all? Who else is going to talk about it? Who else? Who else is going to tell y'all that she was married? Who, who else going to tell y'all? You know what I'm saying? And my thing was, you know, there were a couple blatant statements that you, y'all can't argue. It's in the it's in the movie when they said, "All right, Nisi, now you on your third child of wedlock." Now, was it a lie? No, that was not a lie. That was not a lie. But my thing is, efforts were made right. to clearly go. What do you want? Uh, I'm gonna make sure the audience knows that. Y'all feel me? I'm going to make sure the audience knows that. And that's like, okay, cool. That's cool. But here's the problem in defense of her. I'm not talking to her. I'm just telling y'all. I'm telling y'all how I feel for my mom. Jesus. I'm telling y'all how, how, um, I'm trying to give you, uh, a mirror into what it would be if it was you. Because l- let me let me lay it this way. All of the Clark sisters have done stuff that's shameful to the degree that if it was disclosed the, the, in the movie, we all would be saying the next day, oh, that happened? You did that? Think about it. Out of the five, you're only going to ask that about two people. You're only going to ask that about two people. You feel me? Because if you just say, okay, well, we look at Aunt Dorinda contemplating supposed to be suicide because she didn't say I'm jumping or she he got close. You know, whatever, if that even went down. But that was tucked in at the very end. And then I Karen tucked in at the very end in the hospital lobby. I'm doing this for me. And it wasn't disclosed. What are you doing? Now, if we put that in and 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 lay it out, uh, you know, it would be really you went there, but y'all made sure we spelled it out multiple times. A and again, nobody's saying because you know Negroes want to be like, well, did she have him out of wedlock? Of course, but we're talking about how we're dividing up the shame piece of it. How we're dividing up the the salaciousness, that part, that's not being equally divided. Because it, it was. And again, like I said, people were like, yo, if they store it, man, please, get off my page, okay? Get off my page. Because that's later for that. Because, like now, I say it for John Terrell. John Terrell and I, we not cool. We not. But that was still bold to that degree. You know, you find something else that you need for drama. It's enough life that was lived that you could have inserted other stuff for drama. But now, people posting stuff, thinking it's funny, like, somebody go find this dude, go do this to him, X, Y, Z. Here's my thing. Did it happen? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Did it have to be disclosed, all of that stuff, like the private home discussions? Like in their house and how the money and, and who the job and all, that didn't have to come on. Y'all, whatever. Y'all, if it was if the light was on y'all and it was you, y'all would have a different take on it. 
But it's like cool because the people I love and I adore and I've hold to high esteem, I get to get that story. And again, listen, I'm happy my, my family was honored. I'm happy that uh, for a weekend, um, the entire church world was locked into my family. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm not on some, you know, I'm trying to just... Uh, uh, um, not acknowledge that as many facets to this. But the part that you can't dismiss, this is still somebody's life. It's both of these people. It's still somebody's life. And 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 and, and again, if we want to make let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. I constantly get inboxed about potentially other affairs and other things that may have got gone down that were disclosed. And I didn't say it. It's constantly be, I'm being bombarded with did so and so do something with so and so and, and uh, again this is all I'm saying if we being fair if we're being fair and we gonna embarrass people and try to hide it under the, well isn't that the truth oh let's spell your truth out then because I know where the I know where the bones are I know where the, the bodies are buried I know where the skeletons are. I know so if we gonna play that game. If y'all go, if we gonna say okay, you know, it, it it's open season on these two these two lives. That's not fair. That's that's not fair, y'all. That's not fair. And I'm saying, uh, for a moment, just not be a fan right now. Don't be a fan right now. Don't be a person that enjoyed a movie right just right now. Just be. Somebody that's a human being with feelings. Somebody that, you know what I'm saying? Just for a moment, y'all. Just for a moment. Be somebody that's like, this person has to go live out somewhere. Given. All of us have done stuff that, all of us have done stuff that we wouldn't like publicly disclosed. Given. But here's somebody that we have all said, all attention this weekend Go here. And then we're going to roast. I seen a post today. I, I seen a post today. I showed my wife. The person put up whatever first line in the movie, like this person. And then another, they put, and everybody else, uh, with Denise Clark Bradford, sex. That's all you walk away from is, is, is my mom and sex. And that's funny. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's, come on, man. That's, the, come on. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, is, is this the culture that we're living in right now? Is this the world that we, is this where we are? Is, is you know what I'm saying? Is this where we are? Is this like, come on. I told a guy, uh, there was a guy who, he was real cool with, um, John Terrell. I mean, he could be right now. I don't know. And so he inboxed me. He sent me a couple of photos. Like, you know, remember this back in the day? And one of the photos has me, uh, John Terrell, and Twinkie. I'm probably going to post it. I actually, actually, when I get off here, I'm posting I'm posting a picture. And that's a shame. Y'all don't even know this dude. I'm posting a picture of her actual husband and her uh, when I get off so y'all can see it. And you gotta draw a line at some point from where it's like I could get more followers, I could get more listeners, I can get more higher ratings, but at the expense of hurting somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever, man. I don't even care about amens. I don't even care. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't even care. You know what I'm saying? I don't even care. Because it ain't my it ain't my deal. You know, I'm innocent. I didn't do this stuff, and I so so I don't have a, a agenda like I'm trying to, you know. And again, y'all know those that been following me, y'all know that, you know, my mom and I haven't been close, and we've had differences. That still does not cut off the Christian compassion. That still does not cut off like just, it, just it, you know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, man. And and and, and, I, and my thing is this: the some of the biased stories. And interviews that have been done and stuff, I get that. Okay, I've, I've, I've been, we've been living that for a long time. 
This this ain't just happened. This movie just came out, all this stuff. This ain't just happened. It's been going on for a long time. Y'all know the the, the year they quoted was like eighty three when you brought this up. Eighty three. So that, this ain't nothing new. But my thing is when we're not equally dividing up the disgrace element of it. Come on, y'all. And let me tell y'all this. So y'all, so y'all think I'm just trying to trip and on here on here on my mom. I lived with Twinkie and John. I lived with them. I lived with them. Hear me what I'm saying. I lived with them. And you know what's so crazy? Minus my, minus Karen Dorinda, Jackie. They're the only three people in the entire story that I didn't live with. Those are the only three that I did not live with. Spent the night here and there. But Karen, Dorinda, and Jackie, I've never lived there. But I stayed, you know, spent the night here and there. The other people, it's stuff I could tell, I know about. So this ain't like I'm just coming on here on some, you know, a little piece of story trying to get some. I'm telling y'all, this is what it, this is what it is. So I'm, I'm, I'm referencing that to say. I have legitimacy to speak on this. That is not fair. I know some people are not going to be reached regardless. And, you know, like I said before in my chronicles, I said, you know, it's a dangerous place. And whatever, man. I don't care if you don't hate me. Whatever, whatever. Do, do what you're going to do. But let me tell you from God's point, Bible. Whenever we get to the point that the saved can't call wrong what it is, because we idolize somebody. Even that is a sin by itself. To idol somebody. Like you're my idol. You're so much so that I can't even tell the truth. Because I, I adore you so much. That's y'all. I'm telling you. Hopefully for yourself you get, you get it together. Because nobody on this planet. No relationship. No goal. No performer. No athlete. Nobody should be that high within yourself that you can't tell the truth about that situation. Nobody. Nobody. And that kills me because y'all want to be like the Golden Girls. Even that's insane. The title Golden Girls is... What are you... Who, what? That ain't even no real... What? I don't care. Y'all can say whatever. I don't care. Call me whatever you want to call me because guess what? When we all die, the Bible's going to judge us all. So if we down here making up our rules, then you got to answer for that. That ain't like you doing something for me. You know what I'm saying? You ain't whether you co-sign me or what, I don't. I don't care. Somebody has to speak the truth. Somebody got to have courage, boldness in Christ to speak it. Somebody, and somebody need to stand up and own up. And be like, you know what? That is the right thing. Skip with my flesh, like, and how much I love the inner. And it's just so, oh, it's so great. Somebody got to say, for Christ I live, for Christ I die, for Christ I stand. Somebody got to do that. And the fact that this isn't just entertainment. Lives are affected out, whether you call the truth or not. Because let me tell you, I can list the truth on all, everybody. Including myself. I ain't got no problem. Listen, I will own up to stuff that I've done, stuff that has happened. So I ain't on no pedestal being a hypocrite throwing. No, nah, but you can't make something for everybody to feast on. And it's real life stories and personal stories. And you're at the helm pulling the reins. And you don't throw yourself in there and say, you know what? Like I said, when I went live after the movie, I said, hey, y'all, do y'all know why? I Karen was in the hospital lobby with Uncle Drew and they made that line and said I got a dues for me What's, it's for me I, what but you clearly was like you're on your third child now out of wedlock you clearly like here's my seven boys you clearly like and then conveniently leave out, left out she was married she got married y'all ain't leave that out y'all did that on purpose y'all did that on purpose that's on purpose. Whatever, y'all. I'm telling you, I this this ain't this ain't like you know what I'm saying some of them some some preachers that's like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk to y'all about repentance and sin and I'm not gonna talk about about suffering and carrying your cross. We're gonna say uh, 
touch your neighbor, my blessing's coming. You, to, you know, turn around three times, your house is here. Man, whatever. That ain't no, the genie in the bottle stuff uh, that, that, that gets people to be liked and followers, man, keep, keep whatever. You know what I'm saying? I, I got to face the Lord. And I wasn't even going to go live. This wasn't no planned thing. I just told my wife right now. I'm like, you know what? Again, here I am. Ain't nobody going to say nothing. And I'm really worried about my mom. You know what I'm saying? Uh, whatever. People ask stupid questions. So how you can be worried about her? How can you love her and y'all have beat? You're, you're crazy. How you getting to heaven? How you getting to heaven? So you're saying anybody you have beef with, anybody you've fallen out with, you, you, you can't love them anymore. You can't say I love you anymore. You can't come to the battle. You're not in the Bible. The Bible's telling you this is what we're supposed to do even for our enemies. So that's like when people be writing me on some dumb junk, man, keep that junk. Like, I mean, I'm trying not to insult you. Like, you need to get in the Bible. This ain't easy. When Jesus, skip Jesus, when Stephen or Stephen in Acts is getting stoned to death, I couldn't do it. He's getting stoned to death. He's praying for them. He God, he's looking to heaven. He's looking to heaven. And they're killing him currently. And he's trying to make sure God hears them to absolve them of the sin they're committing right now. Stoning a man that is innocent. He's standing for the gospel. I'm not there. I know most of y'all ain't. I ain't there. But that, I'm sick of I'm sick of it. I'm sick of we've made up in our mind. Because we're on social media, everybody has a right to say what they want to say. That means none of us are obligated to be Christians. What? Because you have a right, you have an account, and you just can text anything and say anything, there's no conviction to live right. There's no con to do right, to speak up, to stand, because we have a free right to speech. We can say anything we want. What? You're crazy. That's crazy. There's no, we get before the Lord. The Lord says, okay, judgment day is here. But everything you did on the internet, that doesn't count. That's free pass. Because it was on the internet. You didn't actually do that in somebody's face. You did it on the internet. Man, what? 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 That's why a lot of times, all this time, there's no videos of me. Because I'm like, it's injustice. It's like we have a boldness to not stand for Christ on the internet. <laughs> That's insane, y'all. I'm telling you. And you know, oh, you know how uh, people are. Oh, the internet ain't in the Bible. So what are you talking? Y'all, what? What? My mom and John Terrell. And low-key, Twinkie. You know what I'm saying? Nobody want to say it. But it was just fair game for Twinkie's life to be... Okay, here's the measurement. I'm going to say it for those that just signed on. The question you ask yourself, can any of the other three go out today and have to face a... What? You did that? Just that same expression. What? You did that? Three people, and my grandfather's dead, but three people alive have that. John Terrell, Twinkie Clark, my mom, Denise. What? You gave your publishing on, and you, everybody, yes, that happened. Yes. For Cadillac Seville, yes. That, but my thing is, the script is structured that y'all want to look in a bad light. Like somebody said, one of my aunties look a, is looking like a superhero. Like this auntie, everything, everything she's, I'm like, this ain't none of that. Ain't yet. Everything this aunt did was to the rescue. It was, it was like, come on, man. Are you kidding me? I know fights. I know, I know dirty stuff, wicked stuff that happened, wicked that happened. That's like, if y'all knew it, y'all would be like, what? If y'all knew it, y'all would be like, no, she didn't. Not out here doing, no, she didn't. And I'm saying like now, and whatever, this may be my, my last post on this stuff and I may be done with it. But the problem is this, Jesus. 
If my mom gets on here and start defending herself, it's going to come off like she bitter. That's what's so shady. It's like you lose either way. You speak on it, you lose. You don't say nothing, you lose. You lose. Because there's a great bug of like, so really all of them gonna sit there and 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 agree and conspire to twist the thing this way. So you hit either way. So I'm like, please, I ain't got nothing to lose. What I'm I'm gonna go in here and tell them. You know, I'm gonna go in here and just say, look. There's somebody somewhere hurting. Whatever, y'all. Y'all, whatever. There's somebody out there hurting on some real. There's somebody that was like, because I'm saying, like I told my wife when we were watching the movie, I said, look at this. Just look at it from a different way. You're living your life like a regular person. You know, you're going along like your mom say do. This is what we're doing. You're doing that. You're my child. And not knowing Eventually, the whole world's going to know each step I took in my life. If we said with you, your life right now, we clocked your life and booked it. Yep, when you were five years old, when you were eight, when you were 10, when you were 12, you were 21, when you were 25. And we're going we gonna to direct the whole industry to lock in this weekend and talk about something you never even authorized. You never even authorized. I told my wife, I'm like, she like, oh, I'm about to go live. I said, you know what? Hey, when I feel heavy like it, and I know it's the right thing to do, I don't care what nobody's saying. Drag me, okay? Drag me. I've been, I've been drugged like a, drag me, but somebody, like if it was me, and I was in a spot where I can't defend myself, or I would want somebody to say, hey, I'm credible, I'm there, they can't erase me, you saw it, speak up and tell them, like the crime, somebody hit and run, or somebody, we need a witness, Somebody stand up. Did that really happen? Separate, cl clarify the story for me. Because they, the person that just took off and didn't stay, st saying, no, that wasn't how it went down. But the witness saw it. The witness saw it. And that's the only way we decide the case is the witness. That's what I'm saying. Whatever on my cousins. Whatever. They weren't old enough. Ask them how old they were in 83, in 82. Ask him. It's just not, I'm telling you, what, if y'all have become that cold and, and just heartless, God bless you. I'm serious. That is my prayer. If y'all if y'all can sit there and hear what I'm saying and still don't look at it a different way, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yes, does it take away? No, my mother was a part of all those hit records. It don't take that away. Her work should be honored. Great job. That's to be recognized. That content has blessed people around the world. That don't change. That, that, is, that should be recognized. Thank God for Missy Elliott, Mary J. Blige, Queen Latifah for featuring that. And all the other producers that wasn't big name that got in that. God bless them on that. Seriously. Because it is, it is an opportunity to allow people to be blessed and educated on the history. Got it. But now we know how we are by nature. We got to do something to appeal to the flesh. We got to decide somebody's got to be the sacrificial lamb. Because we all got sin. <laughs> we all got it. Yes, I'm not sitting here defending my mother's sin. Her sin was her sin. Yes, I have no shame. I'm here due to a sinful act. I'm not dancing for that. That's what happened. I'm just saying none of us, none of us who have sinned deserve a public death. Them Negroes, they never got to speak to me again. I'm telling you that. None of us, none of us, none of us, for any one of our sins, 
deserve a public death. So where people are having a feast, having a feast on your calamity, your waywardness. You know, I, there's, a, there's a whole ton of things I don't agree with my mom did. I, I'm telling you, my childhood was terrible. I'm not backing down. The truth is the truth. I ain't on here lying to none of y'all. Nevertheless, I have to give her some credit for trying. You went and got married. God bless my brothers that have their father that got married. That's not even talked about. They lumped in it too. As if, wow. I'm sure. I haven't talked to them. I'm sure they had to look at the movie like, so my dad does not get included that he married my, my mom? They actually, that just got erased conveniently. Whatever, man. Whatever. So yeah, I'm, like I said, this is what it is. This is this is somebody coming on here, going on live. Peg me how you want. I'm sick of jokers writing. You must be bitter. You must be man. Look, when you get famous and you get on some movie and your stuff gets on, then you come talk to me. Don't talk to me. You don't know. You don't know. Y'all look at these people like objects. These are actually folks' lives. Like I'm saying, you know how many threads I've seen with Negroes snapshot my. Uncle John's Facebook page and got it rolling in threads. Let me find this so-and-so. Let me, what? I don't care. I'll be the guy. I'll be the guy. I don't care. I ain't scared of none of y'all. That's foul. That's foul. Y'all have taken comedy and sense of humor to a whole nother level to where now you're ungodly. Yeah, that's right. Somebody need to call it ungodly. Anybody that snapped his picture and y'all gonna go, go, go to his account and blast him for something that was done over 20 years ago. And it's a joke. It's bullying. And, and it's funny. It's a nasty spirit out there. And the boldness for the internet because... You know, most folk are on some tan stuff on the internet. Get in somebody's face. Really? That, it, it's, it's just wrong, man. Yeah. So, yeah, if I anger, yeah, I am. Because while everybody's comfortable, the night is over, the show is over, you ended it, it's over, your life resumes the next day. All those people have to face people on the street. All those people have to face people on the internet. And again, okay, I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it this way because people are so personal; they don't want to. I'm telling you, some 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 folk going to hell. I'm just whatever, man. Because when you've gotten to the point where you're blinded because you 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 adore somebody so much, you've made them God. Like there is no sin from you. You can't be wrong. You can't do it. Whatever, man. Y'all crazy. Y'all need to read the Bible. That's He's jealous. He don't ever want anybody's influence to be so great that it makes you compromise telling the truth. That, I, I don't apologize for loving God in my sin, in my shortcoming, in my wayward, my ways that are disgusting. The Bible calls my righteousness as filthy rags. Me, filthy rags. But I don't ever party on somebody's failure or shame. I don't do that. I'm going to call you a liar. I don't do that. I don't do that. And for the, to do interviews and laugh about it. You know what I'm saying? People tagging me and stuff that's foul. I'm like, come on now. Come on, man. Come on. Come, believers, stand up. Believers stand up. Jokers that ain't saved, got you. Throw the hate, bring the hate. I know where you're going. Believers, come on. I'm going to give you what it's like. I'm going to give you what it's like. People used to always clown comedians. They take the easy route, the bulk of them. You know if you, you, know if you cuss 
and you do a sex joke, you're going to get a rise out of the crowd, the majority of them. You hit some sex jokes, you hit some profanity, you know, you're going to get that. When you have to sit there and make a crowd laugh and keep it clean, that's work. You got to hit their wit. You got to come twice as hard, three times as hard. I got to make you laugh. I can't take the easy route out and cuss up and sex a joke out. But here's the deal. I preserve my soul. I keep my integrity intact. I may not make as much as the next dude that pulls that $100 million contract. But guess what? God going to look at me and say, well done, my good and faithful servant. You didn't, you didn't compromise for viewership. Jesus, I'm happy by myself. <laughs> Let me just tell y'all, I don't need you. I'm happy by myself. I'm happy. The joy of the Lord, the gospel alone is fulfilling. Telling the truth is fulfilling. We all have sin. I have it. Don't write me on some junk. I got sin. They got sin. But we conveniently went like cussing. I'm going to feature that part. Because I'm telling, I'm not going to do it. But I could do it. I could take the other ones and say, this is what they did. This is what I know. This is what I saw. And, and like, like my mom, I don't have to really get authorization to tell that. I can go just tell that. And, and please, don't hit me with Ilana Von Zahn and all that garbage, please. I, I don't care about that junk, okay? So don't, please. Ain't nobody doing no therapy. And Listen, you can't... Maybe y'all don't know that keep touting this therapy stuff. Maybe y'all don't know you can't force somebody to heal and reconcile unless they first admit that they did it. I don't know what, I don't know what y'all thinking. You can't get that. You have to have somebody to say, hey, that's right. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Who? Who? There's no meeting on a couch. There's no laying down. There's no 10-step program. Hmm. You have to go, that's right. I'm wrong. So don't, please, don't. Like, no, I, I have no problem. I can... I can, I can, I can tell, I'm sorry, uh, this page right here, I know I keep saying it, this, last night I felt bad, I unplugged my internet, I felt so bad, I'm so sorry, but those that are on Larry Clark 2, go to Larry Clark, I'm live on that page, I got two Facebook pages that I'm live on, uh, this phone is just terrible, it just keeps getting poor reception, no matter where I go in the house, so please forgive me, um, but anyway, I'm just appealing to those that heart is not cold. That's all I'm saying. I ain't trying to get fans or win somebody that hates me. You're going to hate me, you're going to hate me. So that, that me talking and do going live ain't changing nothing. But I'm just saying, like right now, would it harm y'all to go and write Denise Clark Bradford on Instagram on, and just say something good, something Christian-y? You think she doesn't know? She knows. She has children that are alive, born out of wedlock. She knows that. We know that. You know what I'm saying? That ain't nothing. She gets to go somewhere and 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 forget. Oh yeah, those that want to go. On Insta I'm live on Instagram as well for those that are on the poor reception page. There's no place she can go. She can never forget it. So my thing is, we got that. All right, we got that. We're saying the next step, have I considered how painful, or even this, and I'm done, I'm done, I'm wrap it up. And I don't care if y'all don't say nothing good right now, I'm still saying what I'm saying. If we made you live your sin over for 30 years later, whatever, whatever, if we kept going, you sinned 30, 40 years ago. And you sinned. Let me tell you. You straight sinned. Okay? Ain't no nice way to put that. You sinned. And we go, we're going to keep running that sin. We're going to make money off that sin. We're going to rebroadcast that sin. Every interview we're going to do, we're going to talk about that sin. E e everything. If it was you, if it was you, that's all I'm saying. Nobody's saying, oh, you know what? 
like uh, Joker's writing, oh, uh, did she do it? Was it? Man, you out of your mind. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your, give me your write-up on what you've done. And we're going to run that on a reel for 30, 40 years. Come on, give me what you got. Let's see how proud and how bold everybody is on the internet writing and posting. Let's see. Let's see. Somebody said nobody hates my mom. Um, that, that's not true. <laughs> that's that's not true. They're right. You, y'all, that, that's not true. I've seen nasty stuff. You got to understand. I have a view that y'all don't have. I see stuff that y'all don't see. That's just in a, again. I'm not. I'm not uh, trying to. Whatever. All I'm saying, Saints, is I, my poll post tonight is to go, hey, consider somebody. That's all I'm saying. Consider somebody. That's, that's all I'm saying. Consider somebody. Because I'm telling you with me, I don't, got you, I don't need you to write me to tell me that. I know that I would be, I would have to fight off depression. Because it's one thing for Jesus, thank you, Lord. And what thank you, Jesus. It's one thing for me to have to seek the Lord for forgiveness and for me to have to mentally get over stuff that I've done to him that's shameful. Times when I've come short, I legitimately came short. No justifying it. I've got to still go, he forgives me, he's cleansed me. But the public want to air it every week. Every week. I can't go to the grocery store. I can't. I did this 30 some odd years ago. I I can't even go. They can't even have a conversation with me and talk about the good things that I've done. All they want to talk about is what I did wrong. That's all I'm worth right now. Y'all know I'm right. Y'all know I'm right. And again, this ain't this ain't to try to bring in the folk that don't want. Some folk just gonna be rebellious regardless. No matter what you say, you can say Jesus is coming tomorrow. I got confidence, even though we don't have it. But you could just be like, you know. And some folk are just gonna be like, I don't care what you say, flatten them out. So and so is a queen. And ain't nothing you can say about that. I got you. Ain't nobody trying to get you to, to hate somebody else or not like some other sister. We're trying to say, consider the sisters that, for the sake of the story, is dragged through the mud. And nobody's saying that it wasn't wrong, sin-wise. But I promise you, you know, all of us have done it. My mom, my mom said, see, I never caught this. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what my mom used to say. Y'all gotta remember, I don't, I don't care. Y'all on my life. Right. Stuff that she used to say when I was coming up. She used to say this. Oh Jesus! All right. I used to hear her arguing with her sisters. I heard the contents in the arguments. And one of the ones she used to say, "My sin, y'all can see, because I have my kids. Y'all can see my sin." But y'all sin. All right. I don't ever do this. I don't ever do this. I don't ever do this. I don't ever do this, but I'm about to tell y'all something. I can't do it. I'm telling you, I, I, I'm so mad because I'm like, I can just rattle off stuff that 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 my aunts have done, that I know of, and testimonies I've heard my mom say that could have been included, like 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 the things that you've done, because the pressure to be beautiful. Yes, you you want to be beautiful. Your 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 uh your your public image is so high. 
I'm, I'm talking about back in the day. So I know some of y'all going right to the the uh, the hospital vibe. No, it ain't in the movie what I'm talking about. You're so absorbed with trying to maintain a certain that you're doing stuff that nobody know about. You're doing stuff that nobody know about. And she said that in arguments. I've heard her. I've heard her. See, y'all doing this stuff in secret and nobody knows. But I got people that I can't erase. I got children I can't erase. But y'all got stuff. I don't, I don't even care. I promise y'all. I've been living in this family all this time. And I'm, I'm going to say it every post. Y'all never heard me talk like this. Pro a month ago. This day, a month ago, you ain't got no video. The only time I've ever talked about stuff was when another relative of my, whatever, I'm going to tell you, Twinkie. <laughs> like, when Twinkie needed help, and I had to get on the internet and cry out for help. Um, and then when um, my mom went on the internet and everybody was on 10 about her grandkids. Those are only two times you can't find where I'm like out here like, you know what, he out here using the internet. Man, ain't nobody. Let me tell y'all this. For all the jokers that got something to say about me and the internet, don't you shouldn't have watched the movie. Don't watch the movie. Cause you watched the movie and you took in content that was private. You enjoyed private stories. You enjoyed private stuff. And it was entertainment. So don't don't be trying to gun for me. Because you, you're being a hypocrite if you're gunning for me and you watch the movie. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do not do that. If you watch the movie and you on here thinking, well, he's just out here, blah, blah, blah. Or you listen to any one of my families who got some bitterness. Don't watch the movie. Because you go like this. Yeah, yeah, he foul. Yeah, he are. And you doing your thing over here. He's like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Because we're dealing with the issues. That's why people were asking me when I was going on on live uh, all week doing my Clark Family Chronicles. Were you going to go live after the movie? And I promise you, I was not going to go live. I was not. I had no desire to go live. Then when I saw it, and I'm like, man, come on. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, I had not seen the movie. I watched it for the first time like y'all. And it was just like, wow. I could be a coward right now. And just say, as they say, let sleeping dogs lie. Or I don't want to get mixed up. Let me, you know, that's like, okay, for real, I'm, I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it. There's no difference in the witness that saw the car accident or saw the crime. And they say, I don't want to get mixed up in that. Let me just go on about my life. Because if I test them, if I tell them I saw something, then they're going to ask me to come to court. If I come to court and I testify, I got to worry about my safety and my family. Or you could be the courageous one and say, forget whatever they say. Forget if they run me through them. Forget if they dog me. Forget if they get a group chat and talk about me. Forget it. Because that single life needs my testimony. That person needs my testimony. Because an entire family. I'm calm. I'm about to make this statement. Whatever. You on the live, so you you you're on the live. Here we go. I'm gonna talk about the Generations album. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go around the corner to show you about the Generations album. Twinkie Clark and I. I, I ain't ashamed to tell y'all about my album with my aunt Twinkie. I'm proud of my work with my aunt Twinkie. All right. So just get that clear. Whether you like it or not, you it ain't forced on you. I'm proud of the album. Is it, it ain't even been out for two months. I said this on another live days ago. I got children. And so y'all know how children are. Those that have children. They ask pure questions. Real questions. Dad. So, this, like now, my son watching his grandmother in a story last night. He's eight years old. And I have to stop the show. He's asking me questions. And I'm like, I owe you the truth, son. I owe you honesty. I don't care what they did. I owe you this. Because I'm not going to send you out here on no half information on some lie. I'm not doing that. All right. I never thought I would get to a day. I said this on previous posts. That I would have to explain to my child. 
that there are men and women being shot by the police that are unarmed and it's recorded on video and the people walk free. I never thought I would have to have that conversation with my child. That son, this is real. This is real. You can have a judge, a, a, a jury of 12 and they can watch video and they can say, innocent, I don't see it. We watching you get gunned down. They look and there's no weapon anywhere. Twelve people agree, innocent, not guilty. Not one time, not two cases, not three cases. We stack with cases. How does that apply now? I did a work, I did work. Let me hit y'all this. Cause I'm, I'm gonna show you. We gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna turn it from we gonna turn it for Denise Clark Bradford. That don't I'm saying good stuff. That don't mean that I don't have I'm had issues with my mom. So whatever. Sorry that those that are not mature they can't understand that. You can go on any one of my family's account. Twinkie Clark and I have three albums together. I produced three albums. I'm getting to the movie. I'm gonna show you how it ties. Three albums together with humility, live and unplug, and the generations. See if I'm lying. Go to any one of their pages. See if they've posted any one of her sister's three albums. Sister and nephew, go to any page. Go back years. Some of y'all, we quarantine. You got time. Go through them. Go and see if you've ever seen any post to support where Stellar nominated. Vote for them. Here's a new release. But go through the pages and see if you see anything about that work. To now, two weeks ago, their mom is on a recording with me and Twinkie. Their grandmother's on a recording with me and Twinkie. Great grandmother. And there's no post, but we're going to do a movie though. We're going to make money on a movie, but we're not going to post our sister, our nephews, and our mother's work. Why did I say that? Because now you can see how collectively, because there's nobody in the family. Don't don't just pick the sisters. Go to anybody I'm related to and see if they posted any work I've ever done with my Aunt Twinkie. Who cool if you want to knock me? You don't like me? Okay. I'm the out of wedlock boy. Okay. You're not going to post your sister's work with your mother? Okay. No relative I'm blood related to has posted this album. Y'all don't have to get it. I'm, it's fact. It ain't a personal opinion. So you tell me it's not possible to conspire against a sister? It's not possible to collectively go. We're going to meet and discuss. We're not going to venture down that way. Collectively. This is the part about the police and the video. So all of y'all see this. It's on record on social media. You know how many times I got inboxed? Is this a legitimate project? Because none of the family's posting the project. I'm speaking to the heart now. I ain't speaking to the project. I'm speaking to the heart. So don't tell me you can't collectively decide. We're going to all stand on this side of an issue as a, collect a whole family. That's my part that gets me with y'all. It's like, so y'all not, not going to see none of it? Yeah. The generations, I ventured out because it's a split album between her and me. My personality, her personality. You can't say whatever about Live and Unplugged. I stand behind that to death. You ain't never seen a post about Live and Unplugged. If I was on here venting, if I was on here bitter, I would have said something about the other two albums. I never did. I never did. So nobody, no family, nobody, nobody, no cousin, no, no nobody, nobody. Let me tell you this. Let's say if it's trash. Okay, I'm not acting like I'm the best dude in the world. I'm only got to produce stuff because nobody will help me. No budget. I did it all on my own dime. I twinkled and played for any of three projects. I scraped and get Okay. But if we're honoring history and we're honoring Maddie Moss Clark and we're honoring all these things, you can't honor her and just post that?
I'm speaking to Denise. So y'all telling me y'all seen it in somebody independent? Cause I ain't Denise. Isn't it possible? Isn't it possible? That's my point. I went the whole around the block, like I told you, I was gonna go around the block, and I was gonna say, you know what? How could police look at a video, and all of them say, nope, we ain't see that dude just kill that dude with a gun and he ain't have one. How could all y'all see what I just said and not say something? But everybody's eager to write me. Everybody feels, well, we can say whatever we want to him. Say whatever we want to him. But we can't say nothing to them. I'm like, really? Wow. Wow. So that's what I'm saying for the next part. With my mom. So we're going to all just say, okay. <laughs> yeah, she did it. <laughs> yeah. like Almost like you get what you deserve. You, you get what they said in the movie. We're going to all see that. And we're going to all see nobody else was outed like that. The only the private, disgraceful things that was disclosed that you would ask the next day, did that happen? Did you do that? Would be Twinkie's home life and my mom and the people that's dead. The domestic violence with my uh, grandfather, and, which I was told that they told our Twinkie. Our Twinkie told me that stuff would be removed, but it wasn't removed. And again... Hey, I'm 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 clear. I'm not lying. That did happen. That happened. My 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 grandfather was uh, abusive, physically, verbally. That that's not a lie. But I'm just saying, at some point, you just say they done. There's extraordinary things in my stage play. I've shared that happened. That was riveting. Have you on the end of your seat? Like, wow, really? That happened? And I didn't have to out that domestic violence piece. My stage play, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, all I'm just saying. So, like I said, the, I'm just trying to share with y'all. And I felt like, and so I'm gonna obey God. I ain't obeying y'all or none. I don't, you know, I don't care. I'm obeying the Lord. And I felt in my spirit something need to be said for my mom. Y'all, I'm claiming her. That's my mother, Denise Clark Bradford. Anyway, so I know how this go. I know what's about to happen afterwards. But, you know, the people in the Bible actually died for Jesus. He, he was gone. He rose again. And the disciples still stood. Y'all Negroes could kill me if you want. But I'm standing for him. <laughs> you was that again. Your, your boy can't take it. It's like when he gets to 15, it's like it's a wrap. <laughs> like, I'm quick. All right, y'all. Look, I'm on here for an hour, too, because now, uh, what's the name is saying? Uh, IG is about to be out. So, God bless y'all. Thank y'all so much for um, tuning in. Um, I do love God. I do love my family. Right is right. Take it how you want. And um, happy Resurrection Sunday. <laughs>